just grab this, touch the two chemicals together, and strike it. And that'll start it off right there. And then you aim it at the fire. That's right. And you aim it at the fire. And then that will actually deplete the fire. All right, it's another quickie video on a new product. You know what we do here at the garage? We hear about new stuff. And if it's a small company and they can't afford national advertising, all that kind of stuff, we think it's pretty neat. We put it on our YouTube here. Now, we don't get paid for this. They don't reimburse this. There's no money involved. You don't have any money, right? Not anymore. No, I don't have any money. <laughs> okay, I just thought this was a pretty cool product. I thought we'd share it with you. It's called Element. That's the name of the company, and their website is right there. Tell us exactly what you have here. Well, what we have is a completely different type of fire extinguisher. I'm sure we're all familiar with, you know, a typical five-pound fire bottle. Now, the five-pound fire bottle weighs something like seven, seven and a half pounds. By so, a five-pound bottle weighs about seven and a half well, pounds. Well, it actually weighs seven and a half okay, pounds. Okay. One of the things about these bottles is they're a compressed gas cylinder. Right. They make a terrible mess, as you probably know. Uh, most of them, there are some clean extinguishers right, as, right. as well. And the discharge time on an extinguisher like this is approximately nine to 11 seconds. They start losing steam after about six, okay. but nine to 11 seconds. And the other thing as well is that you need to service them and, and maintain them as well. Okay. Element is something that's completely different. It's actually a solid chemical propellant. And inside it has a, a, a chemical that once it's discharged, actually fights fires on the molecular level. So it makes no mess of any kind. Mm -hmm. It doesn't rob oxygen. And the coolest thing is, it never expires, never requires any service. And the discharge time on one of these is actually about 50 seconds compared to... Really? So it's almost a minute for this versus 12 seconds for that. Correct. You have a lot okay. more firefighting time okay. than you otherwise would have. Okay. I could use this on my wedding night. Now let me ask you something. These aren't wreaths. You just throw them away when you're done. Correct. It's a one-time use. Okay. Now, what you also need to recognize is that a regular fire extinguisher, the moment you deploy it, even a little bit, you've compromised the seals. Right. And essentially, it's a one-time use or it needs to be reserviced. Okay. So, this is, you know, I thought this is cool. I got a lot of old cars and between the bad ethanol and the gas and eating through all the rubber, I've had a couple of car fires and I usually carry a big heavy extinguisher. And you know it'll slide under the brake pedal. It just moves around somewhere. Whereas these are, looks, it's really no bigger than a road flare. Correct. One of the things that we're hoping to do with this product is because the form factor is so much smaller. Mm -hmm. It's so much more convenient. We're hoping the comparison we're trying to make is that this is going to become the smartphone camera of the fire extinguisher world. Before a large container was bulky. It's difficult right. to handle. And a lot of people know they want an extinguisher but they don't carry it because it's just yeah, it's too, it's too much of a hassle. With this, you can put it under the seat or, well, if you don't have an old car, maybe a glove compartment. So how much does this cost? So we make three different sizes. Right. We make a 25-second unit, which costs $59. Mm -hmm. We make a 50-second unit, which is the most, by far and away the most popular one that we have. Mm -hmm. And that unit costs $79. And, and there's no mess. It's not like, you know, sometimes with chemical fire extinguishers, they have an old car, and you shoot it in the, on the carburetor around the fire, it gets in the motor and you've got grit and sand and whatever else is in those chemicals, whatever is in there, and it Correct. can and ruin your motor. This is just a gas, isn't it? Right. In simplest terms, what, it, what the gas does is it chemically interrupts the combustion process, but unlike halon, it doesn't, de well, it doesn't deplete the ozone, but also doesn't release toxic gases, yeah. nor does it remove oxygen. So you can deploy this in anything larger than one and a half cubic meters and you can still breathe. Oh, okay. The technology itself is not that new. The, the chemistry itself is not that new. It was first used by the space program mm -hmm. and uh, being vehicle guys and all that stuff, one thing you might find cool is that in a fixed installation, it was used in the NASA lunar crawler. Oh, okay. When they get the shuttle from the assembly building over to the, to the pad. This okay. is the first handheld application of the technology. And as I said, we're hoping that it will popularize the use of fire extinguishers. Well, sure. And the, you see why they use on the roof? You get a fire on the moon. You're going to be waiting all day for a <laughs> fire engine to show up. Hey, hey, you, gotta, you, know, you can pull that alarm. It's going to be a week at least. Whereas this, you can just put it out right away. So how does one uh, engage it? Is it like a road flare? It's actually quite simple. You remove the cap, right. which exposes a little chemical tip right there. Right. And then you remove the base. Right. There's another chemical over there. These two chemicals actually need to touch. 
you strike it like a road flare. And once you strike it, chemical reaction starts and the gas will start flowing. Uh, do I feel any heat or anything in my hand? So what happens is, yes, this is, um, it's a pyrotechnic charge. So right. some people like to use the term, you're fighting fire with fire. Okay. And so it will progressively get warmer. So right. if, you're, if you're holding it by the end. That's not a good idea. You will know, you will know that it's right. getting warmer and warmer and start moving your hand to the plastic. And they're not placed in your mouth. Yeah, I know, all that kind of stuff, yeah. Can we, can we light this one off? Just Absolutely. to get it rather dramatic, go ahead, so. Yeah, so if I may. Go ahead. We just grab this, touch the two chemicals together and strike it and that'll start it off right there and then you aim it at the fire that's right and you aim it at the fire and then that will actually deplete the fire wow it goes for a long time it does well we'll be here for 50 seconds yeah now one of the cool things is that this smoke that you're seeing yeah. actually creates like a biodegradable cloud right. which stays around the fire and takes about 20 to 30 minutes to biodegrade. That cloud then prevents a reflaring of the fire. I see. You're just cooking away. And meanwhile, breathing this is not harmful? Nope, not in the slightest. Wow. I would urge you not to point it at my face. No, no. Otherwise we'll be okay. And now a regular stinger should would have been out 30 seconds ago. Oh, yeah. You know, that's pretty good. Now, see, I can feel this getting warm. Yep. But not so warm that I can't hold it. Right. I mean, you'll see the end of the unit will discolor a little bit. And there, it just yeah. lost its peter, and boop, out it goes. You know, that's pretty impressive. It, it, it really is cool. And if you have an old car, um, you just put this. I know guys carry road flares. Just put this in with your road flares. Believe me, it's a lot cheaper than burning up $79, you know. Actually, one of the neat things about the product is that it's not affected by temperature, humidity. It's completely stable. It, as, as we said, it never expires. Yeah. So it's one of the things you buy it once and you essentially forget about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, boy, that's pretty cool. So you just throw this in the trunk of your car and, well, you see why I was impressed by it. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's pretty cool. As I said, we, it seems like an infomercial. I guess it is, but Nobody gets paid here. We just want to share this view. You know, I know so many guys that lose old cars to fire and it breaks their heart and they put so much time and effort in it. And you don't want to carry a big bulky thing around. So you just throw one or two of these in your car and it lasts, what, 10 years, 20? It lasts forever, doesn't it? It really has no effect. Until you use it. All right. Well, Rob, very cool. Well, thanks. That was terrific. Thank you very much. Thanks. Check it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs>